アレクサンダー・オーツカー VS マイク・ボーク He's a bad boy, Mike Bork from the USA. The superstar here in, uh, in Japan, it's Alexander Atsuka. You know, when Alexander Atsuka fought e a g o Chanchin uh, in a previous Pride event, Uh, when he fought Igor g o c h a n s o n in her previous Pride event, he uh, fought a pro wrestling match in the afternoon and then fought Igor that night. And I asked him if that was a wise decision, and he said, sure, why not? <laughs> Obviously, it wasn't too wise of a decision.、Uh, but he did not fight a pro wrestling match today before he fought Bork, so he's going to come in full power 100%. Mike Bork's going to want to come right at him. He wants to take him down. He doesn't want Atsuka to dance around and tire him out. Like I said, he's had 10 days' notice. You know, in a way, this is like a David and Goliath fight. He doesn't want to waste any time here. There's that low kick by Atsuka. He's using that movement. Great a t h l e t e That's、uh, switching to southpaw stance, right foot in front. Might be going for that high kick. Kind of confusing Mike a little bit. Bork shooting in. Asuka going for a single. Bork's got him in a half a guillotine. Surprising that Alexander's trying to take Bork down. I thought he'd stay on the outside. Oh, that's Alex, a drop kick. There's the drop kick. He said he was going to use it. Yeah. Didn't land. He's got half guillotine. Asuka pops out. Right where he wants to be, he's on top. Now we're going to see Asuka work from the bottom on the guard. He's going for the armbar, Eddie. It's a little loose, a little loose. Now there are no elbows to the head in Pride, only punches. Now Mike Fork knows he needs to make quick work of Alexander Asuka. He's running on, on a half a tank. Ten days' notice. Hasn't been, you know. And I think that tank, tank top is going to come off before the fight's over. Asuka getting that leg in front. Going for an inverted armbar, Eddie. And Bork pops it out. But at least Asuka is trying to. He's not staying static. He's moving. He's going for it. Yeah. Bork might be a little too strong at the early part of the fight to get a submission on. Wow. Alexander Oates is showing tremendous flexibility. And he's turtling up.、Oh. And he, he. It looks like Bork's going for a choke here, but Otsuka pops out. Otsuka's got him inside now. Reverse, reverse crucifix here. Otsuka kneeing away at the hip of Mike Bork. Mike Bork does not want to be on his back. Not with this guy, because this guy can do it. Oh! Bork using pure power to reverse the side mount into the guard again. Impressive, impressive. Nice little grappling match so far. Now, if Otsuka wants that arm bar, before he swings that leg around, he's got to have that arm secure. Like he's just bringing the leg around without even securing the arm. The arm is completely out right there. Looks like that left arm is ready to be arm barred. He's posting it straight out. Oh, nice, nice. He might have it here. He's got both arms. He tapped. Beautiful, beautiful double arm bar. Alexander Otsuka. Woo, that was excellent. I've never seen that. A d o u b l ring. It was like a half a triangle. There's the backflip. It was like a half triangle double arm bar, Eddie. Beautiful technique. Tremendous flexibility in, in Otsuka's knees. You know, there's one thing you gotta love about some of these Japanese. For Russians that come into Pride, they try things that nobody has tried. Because if she s a k u r a b a set the pace, now Atsuka decided, hey, watch this move. That's a move that Brazilian Jiu Jitsu instructors will teach their students, but no one ever really gets it. I mean, it'll work on white belts, 
of guys that are just walking into the gym. 